today I'm going to be telling you what to do in quarantine. I have a whole list of 60 things. Okay, we're starting out strong with doing schoolwork because I know y'all are in online school right now and procrastinating like I am. So go get your crap done. You could, you know, start one of these, you know, a YouTube channel. Um, that's really fun. You could read um, this is one of my favorite books. This is Love Does by Bob Goff. I'm like halfway through it. I love it. Okay, so another book I'm reading right now is called The Whisper Man, and this is by Alex North, and this is really good. This is one of my other favorite books. This is um, Live Original by C. E. Robinson. You could watch Netflix, and I've been watching The Vampire Diaries and Criminal Minds as well as this show i just binge it it's called the big show show and then floor house obviously a really good show to binge and then you could watch them on my block you could watch some more youtube i'm gonna list a whole bunch of my favorite youtubers abby bankson ava jules caroline manny colette johnson ellie Fuman, emma top Haley fam hannah maloche jazzy ann i'm in love with jazzy ann and her videos right now they're Lauren True Love, she hasn't posted in like forever, but I love binge watching her old videos. Leona Marquez, Luca Whitaker, My Fami, Maya Benway, Nina Rose, Sadie Aldis, Sadie Crowell, she's hilarious, I love her. Taylor Mariah, oh, Alex Myers is hilarious, I love him. Next, you could do a self care day, you know, sometimes you might need one of those days. I totally relate to that, so definitely go treat yourself right now. But seriously, no. Reorganize your room, clean your room, deep clean your room, all of that. Like, you could work out because your abs need it. <laughs> My favorite workout video right now is Luca Whitaker's app, which is called Make It. It's so good. It's like my favorite app workout ever. You could go through all of your clothes and clean out your closet because it's disgusting. You could bleach tie-dye your old t-shirts and sweatshirts. This is one that I did and I am in love with it. And then I did this old um, student section one and I love it. Go make friendship bracelets. These were a huge trend in summer 2019. And I'm making this cow one right now for my friend who lives in Washington and I'm gonna send it to her. You could color or draw or paint or do anything art related. It's so much fun and it's so like satisfying, I guess. Okay, another one that's really fun is FaceTime with friends. I do this all the time. You could journal. I find this so fun to do, especially when like I have things on my mind I want to talk about. And like there comes a point where honestly you just don't even realize you need to like let it out and then you do and you feel so much better. So I definitely encourage journaling. Watch a really, really, really funny Vine compilation. You could make more playlists. My Spotify is linked down below and so is my Apple Music. I use Apple Music. Um, this is my favorite playlist right now. It's my spring one. I always update my Spotify um, with all my Apple Music playlists. So... As you can kind of see me doing here, I'm scrolling to my Instagram and basically this takes me to my next thing is clean out your social medias. Um, I went through and archived a bunch of my old posts that I just didn't like anymore, like that one. Um, and then, you know, you can go in your archives later and like see what you've posted. And on that note, you can also like go on a snapchat and remove a bunch of people i did that and honestly i felt so much better um there's a photo i just archived i just unarchived it um just for you guys i guess i don't really know but yeah these are a bunch of other photos that i've archived so on the idea of cleaning out things you could start by cleaning out your phone here's me deleting a game that i don't use anymore and then i also don't use this game so i clean this out and i 
cleaned out my phone pretty recently and I cleared about 20 gigabytes of storage off my phone and it was amazing. Clean out your camera roll. Another thing, this is literally the easiest thing ever, but you know, with this whole quarantine thing, we've been busy, so what you should do is hydrate. There's a water bottle, a glass of water, anything next to you, drink it right now. Okay, ready? Cheers. I've seen a podcast. A couple podcasts that I'm in love with is the Whoa That's Good podcast that Sadie Robertson put out. Alicia Marie and Remy Ashton's podcast is really good. So another super entertaining and kind of time consuming thing you could do is learn TikTok dances, watch TikToks, or just make TikToks. Um, go on Pinterest. So then I went on like a full on rant about how much I love Pinterest and how amazing it is. And all I have to say is that this app, you can spend so much time on it and not even realize it. Well, I swear to myself that I will never ever be a beauty guru. Go try a new makeup look. So as you can see, I'm showing you guys how disgusting my bathroom is and like drawers and cupboards and everything. And if your drawers and cupboards look like this, go clean and organize. Okay, I'm not a big yoga fan, but I tried yoga from this app. It's called Daily Yoga. It's literally so good. I love it so much. Go try yoga. So as you can see here, I'm giving my dog the attention I need by smothering him in loves and kisses and everything. So yeah, go give your dog some attention because they are deprived. Okay, another thing I've been doing is selling my old clothes. So I sell them on Instagram. Learn a new language in this time, like especially if you're not enrolled in one right now because I know there's like school going on and everything. Go on Omegle. Go on your Wii, play some Wii tennis. You could play Roblox. Also, play Minecraft. Minecraft is sick. Also, on the topic of games, go to primarygames.com. They have like all the Papa's games and Monkey Go Happy and Dune Buggy and like all the games we used to play as kids, I'm telling you. The next best game was Akinator. I don't know if you guys remember it, but it was literally the only cool thing. Also, on the topic of like little kid games and like things you used to do as little kids, Go make a fort. Learn how to play an instrument. Try a new schedule. So I saw this one posted on TikTok a while ago. Do a cool face mask. I love this face mask. To death, it's the Freeman anti-stress play mask. It's amazing. I love this one so much. On that note, take a bath or a shower. Seriously, your hygiene is important. Dress up, go outside, and do a photo shoot. Play board games or do puzzles with your family members. It's a great way to bond and it's so much fun. Try TikTok trends. Like one of the biggest ones going around right now is the whipped coffee. Go try a fancy coffee recipe. With that being said, you can also go bake something from scratch. And if you're not inclined to bake, go make a box recipe. Um, go wash your sheets. Go be healthy and make yourself a really good smoothie. And if you're not sure like what kind of smoothie to make, um, I made this one and it has a cup of mixed berries and then half a cup of Greek yogurt and a cup of orange juice. You could also add milk if you don't, if you're not like a big orange juice fan, but I was shocked how good this was. So here's me telling you guys to go on a run or a bike ride, um, <laughs> or you could go on a walk and if you have a dog, take your dog with you. Those were my 60 ideas on how to stay busy during quarantine. I know it's boring and I know this is hard. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys Sunday. Grace.